this is where the Curtain Theatre would have been. Well, well, I think they've knocked down what was on the street, but they're going to have a kind of monument to the theatre in the kind of lower level of their building and a celebration of it, basically. I have been here last year. Okay. And I didn't think about Shakespeare at mm. all when I was here. So I'm a little bit ashamed now. Uh, I don't I think it's one of those places you wouldn't necessarily associate with Shakespeare anyway. And I think all of London is a little bit that way, even when you go to the historical bits, you wouldn't necessarily think that that history exists because I wasn't taught about it in school or anything. Uh, That's it was a all... pity because kids living here could have known about that. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. I think it's something to do with that. Um, when you have a certain thing on your doorstep, you don't necessarily appreciate it straight away. So. When we had school trips, we wouldn't go to these kind of places, I don't think. In Austria, the people, the kids are forced to live with Mozart. Ah. So uh, they knew perfectly where he was born, where he was living, because they just have to. Mm. It's not a decision, but uh, I don't think that they do it happily. So ah. maybe if you discover someone by yourself yeah. after passing school, it's maybe better. It's amazing the kind of level of insight yeah. into the psyche. And on the same time, in which language this was shown, mm. in, in what kind of beauty. Mm. Even uh, there are dark things to show, mm. the dark sides, mm. but they're shown very aesthetically. Mm. Yeah, everything has a Everything has a poetic quality which makes you pay more attention to it, even if it's... It takes it on a completely yeah. different level, I think. Yeah. yeah, it makes it very... Yeah, reading the plays made me pay attention, I think, to little small bits of language, little nuances that language has. Not just the English language, but languages generally, I think. It has really helped with that process of coming to make things up, to write them, I think, as well, yeah. You know, that uh, this is my experience of uh, seeing Shakespeare from the angle of different languages, mm. made a different view of him. Uh, but uh, in the end, I would say the original is the loudest voice mm. for me, from all the others. Mm. So I think this is um, a building that he owned towards the end of his life. Um, when I was kind of looking up some of the places we could go to, the piece of research I was looking at was saying that he left this to his daughter mm -hmm. when he died. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the space up here. I don't know whether it's been, I mean, it must have been changed inside yeah and I don't know what what of the original structure mm -hmm. remains it would be interesting to look that up too and find out yeah. you can see a little bit in the windows hmm there are yeah they're slightly strange small yeah the ones at the top it's narrow very yeah so, so they didn't change it a lot I think inside no no, it, it you, would have to, you would have to keep it. some of it, yeah. So, and if you look on this little window there, mm. that's looking really funny. Yeah. They closed the, uh, the window, the big one.
I really like this as a theatre space because they do the kind of collected works, or you know, they do the most popularly mm -hmm. staged okay. uh, staged plays, but also they do new stuff. Stuff that kind of sits in the same kind of area or theme. Mm -hmm. And then really contemporary stuff as well. When you said we were ending here, mm. Uh, the great thing is that Shakespeare didn't end here. No, true. Uh, but it's moving on after 400 years. Yeah. Which is quite remarkable. Yeah. It's a, it's a miraculous thing, I think, for to have that impact over such a long period of time. But that's uh, because of the fundamental mm. uh, human motivations mm. uh, and uh, drama mm. and uh, psychology mm. which he has uh, caught in very easy mm. very very um, authentic mm.